Hey guys, Matt here. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, we are going to be talking about Iron Man, old school Iron Man, 2008 Rittenhouse. So stay tuned. All right, guys, appreciate everybody for watching. Um, going to first start off by giving a little story and background to set this up for this beautiful box of 2008 Rittenhouse Iron Man we have in front. So if you're a member of the channel, or first, if you're not a member of the channel, please think about subscribing and hitting that like bell if you get something out of this. But I'm going to go through um, my collection. I am a sealed box collector. So I have boxes such as this, which are all sealed and uh, still in their wrapper. Uh, this particular box is a very hard to find box of 2008 sealed Rittenhouse. And just to give you kind of a story, I had gone in 2024 to uh, Megacon and I found a vendor that had um, one of these sealed boxes and I was negotiating as much as I could to absolutely get this box because these are hard to come by. Um, not only was I able to pick up this box, I have been able to secure one other box that I have uh, being shipped in. So, um, you know, we'll talk about that. I don't know if I'm, I, I, if I can have the heart to break it open or not, but Let's talk about the 2008 and go over and get some information, give you guys a little bit of knowledge on this one. So Rittenhouse had the contract before Upper Deck to do Marvel cards. And back in 2008, when Rittenhouse produced these, and these are from the movie, there were only 9,000 boxes of these made. And this is, as you can tell, box number 1,112 of 9,000. So I don't know how many of these sealed boxes are still out there. I can tell you they very rarely pop up, but when they do, I obviously do try and snag uh, one. Uh, this one took me a while just to get this. The boxes tend to go, I would say, somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500. There's going to be always ones that go a little higher. There's going to be ones that go a little lower if you can catch it and somebody does not know what they have in their hand. So um, what is so special about these boxes? Well, first of all, besides the low print run and still finding a 2008 sealed box, um, we're going to talk about what makes these expensive. Additionally, what you'll see here, just because I know you guys will ask, is this is an Ultra Pro uh, sealed container. This uh, is magnetic. I have uh, some of my expensive boxes that fit. I put this one in here so it stays sealed. This is basically Ultra Pro. You can get these for Pokemon boxes. Um, they're really nice. I wish they made them really more for Marvel. These are for uh, Pokemon related boxes that you can put the, uh, you know, the, the box in and then it is just removable with magnets. So I really like it. You can put it this way. You can put it that way. And when this goes back into my collection, it will be in the protective case so it stays nice uh, given the value of this. And I don't want to damage it. So let's talk about the Iron Man set itself. This set that came out back in 2008 by Rittenhouse. And this was a total of a 70 card set. So not a big set. Um, you know, this is basically just starting the the whole Marvel uh, fad and craze that, that became what it is today. But this particular box would come out. And I cannot recall what they sold for, but I'm sure it's probably, you know, um, somewhere in the realm of probably 100 bucks or maybe even less, depending. Um, the big thing with these boxes back then is sketch cards, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But there is something way, way more valuable now than those. And those still have value, and you can look them up on eBay. You can look all these cards that you can maybe find on eBay as well. But the 2008 Rittenhouse set um, ended up having a number of inserts on top of the 70-card list that we're, you know, we're talking about. Uh, let's talk about the inserts in general first, and then we can kind of go through uh, a little bit more about the values and what they kind of are. So in this particular set, 
Um, you had different inserts. One of the uh, insert sets were called the uh, Armored Heroes. And there was basically one per box. One out of 24 packs, I think, is kind of the ratio of these Armored Heroes. And I'll try and put a picture up so you can see what one of them looks like. In addition to the Armored Heroes, um, you would also have the benefit of getting what they call the Iron Man Archives, the Tales of Suspense, the old uh, comic type cuts. They're not the actual comics in it, it's just a card um, with the, uh, the old comic design. Um, but those were also inserts and those were about, uh, I think it was a subset of nine um, as far as what you know what was uh, available on those in addition to the to the armored heroes you had costume cards so there was you know that little piece of costume that you could get out of a card and they had it for both robert downey jr they had it for terrence howard this is uh before um um uh, don Cheadle came in you had terrence howard playing uh roadie uh you had jeff bridges um, had one as Obadiah Stone. Gwyneth Paltrow was in this set as Pepper Potts for that. Um, then you had some of the less lesser known ones. I think it's Farron Tahir, Sean Tobb, um, Leslie Bibb. Those were all different ones that um, also had costume cars. And so there was a total subset of 17 that you could pull from this. And these were one out of every 12 packs. Now, the costume cards are combined, and we'll talk about that, meaning that there are two, what I would call, two specialty cards per box. Um, it could be a costume card. It could be a sketch card because there were sketch cards in this particular set, and that's really kind of what it used to be famous for. Rittenhouse would have these awesome sketch cards. Um, I used to collect a ton of them. I still have some. Uh, let me see if I can pull one over here. It's the old-fashioned look. This is not one from the set, but just to give you an idea, um, these were the type of sketch FX cards that you would be able to pull um, from a box like this for Rittenhouse, and this is a Rittenhouse-related uh, sketch card. So you could pull two per box, and it could be a sketch card, it could be a costume card, um, or what you can do is you could pull one of what I call the big value cards, which are the autographs. This set had autographs, and that's what makes this particular set so valuable. Those autographs are super difficult to pull, um, you know, and I think you'll find that most are the costume cards, most are the sketches. But if you are lucky enough to pull an autograph from here, let's talk about the nine autographs that you can get out of this box. So, as I said, we talked about a little bit more of the lesser known characters, Sean Taub, who played, I think it was Jensen, um, Farron Tahir played Raza. Then you even had uh, Terrence Howard, as I said, who was playing Rhodey. You had Clark Gregg, Clark Gregg, excuse me, that's uh, Phil Coulson um, from S.H.I.E.L.D. You had John Favreau cards, which are, are, are expensive related cards, um, as the director on this, and Happy Hogan, as everybody knows. Um, so there are autographs of John Favreau. Um, you have Jeff Bridges, which was Obadiah Stone, and that is a very valuable autograph. And then you have what I would call the big, um, the big one, which is Robert Downey Jr. and his autograph card. And if you are lucky enough to pull his autograph card, um, those cards are going for thousands of dollars. Um, not that Jeff Bridges isn't either or John Favreau, but, but Robert Downey cards um, in this particular set are very, very, very valuable, which kind of makes this box and set so expensive because of the chance of hitting one of those cards. So <clears throat> what you don't have as far as autographs, believe it or not, is you don't have Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts. She is not in this particular set. I am gonna leave a link in the uh, description below. There's a great art article from Cardboard Connection um, as far as the Iron Man autographs. And it talks not only about this series, but it talks about Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3 and, um, and those boxes. And I'll be quite honest with you, I don't have a box of Iron Man 2 yet. I do have a box of Iron Man 3, but we'll do a separate video on that 
uh, later on the channel because I want to spend a little time on each particular uh, box that I have in my in my collection and talk a little bit about it and and the series and hopefully give you guys some information. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show off this beautiful box. I know everybody's always asking me what's in my collection as far as sealed boxes. So I am going to hopefully do a video on each of them. Um, but this is one of my newest ones, additions. I'm super excited to add. And believe it or not, I can't wait. I'll have another box coming in that I was able to get a hold of. So I know I like to usually open one and keep one, but these boxes are so rare and hard to find that it's hard to uh, open it up just for hunting for a Robert Downey signature. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you have one of these boxes? Do you have one of these cards, even if you opened it up? Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd also love to hear any of your thoughts and comments down below as I read them all. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.